Greetings everyone, allow myself to introduce myself. My name is Jay Hall, and welcome to a guide on how to A plus all the bosses in Cuphead. While difficult, it is possible. I believe in you. We're going to achieve this together. And now we come to Wally Warbles. But Jay Hall, that's boss number 10, not boss number 9. I know. We're skipping ahead to boss number 10 because I think it is best to do the flying levels back to back. Since you're kind of in the rhythm from Genie, it should help you out. And I'd consider this level way easier than Genie, so it should be a cakewalk after that one. We're using the same charm, coffee, to help fill your super meter so you can use it more often in this fight. With that said, let's get to it! Waldy Warbles has four phases. During the first two phases, you want to live on the left side of the screen. Do not leave this side of the screen unless you're going for a quick parry on one of the pink birds. Otherwise, stay over here all the time. His first two attacks are really easy to avoid. He'll point out three fingers and shoot out three bombs that move pretty slowly across the screen. His other attack is shooting out a single egg. Once it reaches the far left of the screen, it'll break into three eggshells that go in a fan pattern. This is why you want to be on the far left of the screen because it makes it much easier to avoid these since the area of effect is very small. There are also three yellow birds and one pink bird that will fly across the screen every once in a while. Dart out and get the pink one whenever you can to fill up your super meter. Once full, hit him with the bomb to end this phase. Phase 2 looks intimidating at first, but it's actually quite easy. Wally starts shooting out feathers that look like they're going in random spots, but it's actually following a rotating radial pattern that you can use to avoid them. Once again, stick to the left, and try to avoid being at the top or the bottom of the screen so you have more maneuverability in between. Only go for parries after Wally has been tuckered out from shooting out all his feathers. You shouldn't have to use any super or X moves to get past this part fast. Phase 3 has Wally turning into a baby bird. You should have or be very close to a full super at this point. Make sure you use it as soon as you can. Just be sure to avoid the five spiky spinning eggs around him. When the eggs are far away from him, make sure you get up close and personal to him and lay in as many shots as you can. When the eggs start coming back in, get into your small form and get out of there as quick as possible. Soon he'll whip out a gun and shoot out a few pink parryable objects. I usually find it advantageous to stay still while he's shooting so then it's easier to parry once they get to you. Don't use your super or any of your X moves to beat this boss. You'll want to save it up for the last stage. Wally's final phase, he is on a stretcher with a few birds carrying him. This is when you want to switch to your secondary shot, the bombs. It'll help out tremendously. Hit him with your full super meter as soon as you can and then use your X moves intermittently throughout the fight whenever they fill up. It'll be a whole bunch of little magnets that'll home in on the enemies. I found the best place to be during this entire phase is right over Wally's belly. The reason being this is the only place where attacks will not come from. The small birds on either side will shoot up a pill straight above them. At its apex it will split into two with one half homing in on you. Sometimes these will be pink so try to parry them when you can. They're slow moving so it's easily done, just don't let them get lost in the kerfuffle of all the other crap going on. Wally himself has two different attacks. He'll either hit himself in the chest and a heart will come out of his mouth that will then shoot three beans out at you. It only shoots one wave of beans, so you're pretty safe afterwards for a little while at least. The other attack begins with Wally turning his head into a garbage can. I find this one more difficult to avoid because he'll randomly spit up trash that can kind of go all over the screen. Parry any pink stuff he shoots out if you can, but don't get too worried about it if you miss it. You shouldn't need it at this point. After about two rounds of each attack, the bird should be slain. You can also see his friends were a little happy to see him go as well. That's four out of the five bosses of Isle 2 down. You only have the toughest one yet to go. Great. Dilly dilly. Hey everyone, thank you for watching. If you'd like to see more guides like this on Cuphead, make sure you like this video and subscribe to my channel. Together, we will conquer the beast known as Cuphead. And I do want to apologize for the lack of guides going out this time of year with all the games released. I think there were six of them within the span of two weeks that I wanted to play. It is a little bit tougher to get around to these, but I hope to be getting back into it. You can also follow me on Twitch at twitch.tv slash jhall, where I do live playthroughs of Cuphead and many other games for that matter. Until then, I'll catch you on the flip side.